So hi everyone, good morning. Uh, so welcome to this fifth session our, of our focus program. Uh, so I'm Adeline Blanchard, responsible for visual arts. Um, so focus program is a program by Institut Francais, inviting curators and um, directors and in, uh, institutions directors twice a year um, to France in order to discover the French art scene. Um, so we've invited uh, 16 curators from 11 different countries. And today I'm very happy um, to welcome Abraham Poincheval, uh, artist based in Marseille. Uh, so he will uh, start a presentation and he's here together uh, with Lou uh, Colombani. Uh, she's a director for a production platform uh, called Parallel, also based uh, in Marseille. So thank you very much to the two of you. And um, I will um, start um, introducing uh, Abraham. Uh, so you were born uh, in 1972 um, and you live and work in Marseille, as I said already. Um, so you work a bit like an explorer. Uh, so in some of your, um, your performances, you've been crossing the Alps, uh, uh, building a shelter. You've been enclosing yourself uh, for a week in a, in a rock. Um, you've been doing many expeditions uh, that require a total physical um, commitment. And the inhabitable sculptures uh, which you conceive are like laboratories um, allowing you uh, to experience uh, time, uh, enclosure and uh, immobility. And so, uh, recently, so you had um, so different exhibitions, uh, one solo show in Palais de Tokyo, where we you were um, uh, showing two performances, uh, Stone and Egg. Uh, you've been also, I mean, you've been presented at Musée de la Chasse et de la Nature, uh, also in um, ICA, Institute of Contemporary Art uh, in Lyon, uh, La Criée in Rennes, Le Macval um, around Paris, and uh, most recently you've been presented uh, to the 15th uh, Biennale of Lyon. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the, um, the exhibitions. I know that you are, um, you will have very soon an upcoming exhibition presented at your gallery, which is uh, Semios, uh, that will start uh, in November. So I pass you on the word, uh, Abraham. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Very good. Thank you for introducing. And um, no, oh yeah, just yes, yes, yes. Um, I just want to to present some different work I realized, uh, uh, project realized from uh, beginning in two thousand uh, and eleven, uh, and to uh, to two days. Um, I want to introduce. Uh, non, j'arrive pas à le faire sortir. Voilà. Um, a first project uh, is called uh, Girovag, Giro the Inv Invisible Journey. Um, it is a journey through the Alps from France to Italy during uh, four, uh, four seasons. Surveyed um, uh, uh, the mountain with this, uh, with this land you can see here. Uh, uh, this is uh, the travel I do. Um, uh, this uh, sculpture is a house and camera and, and vehicle. Uh, why I use Girovag? Because Girovag is the name of given to a congregation of uh, uh, wandering hermits uh, uh, with project is imagined to be a terrestrial cosmonaut, like a sort of cosmonaut. Gerovag is a kind of laboratory for many future projects. Um, after that, uh, I decided to leave after, after work and work and work. Uh, I decided to, to, to stop to move. And uh, I, uh, in a gallery in, uh, in Marseille, um, 
um, uh, uh, I decide to leave uh, the in the uh, uh, in the underground uh, in a gallery. I dig a hole. A hole in, is a 60 centimeter in diameter on one meter 60 deep, and I stay in this hole uh, filled with a stone for uh, for a week, seven days inside, 19 days. And uh, what I imagined to be a confinement was a, um, uh, yeah, it's like a, comment dire, a, um, a cosmonaut place, but in the earth. After uh, you, you uh, I realized another project in the Musée de la Chasse et de la Nature in Paris. Mm -hmm. His name is Beer. And I imagine to live uh, inside uh, a beer, uh, voilà, uh, naturalizing beer, uh, during uh, 14 days. And this is a, a system for live inside this beer. And I'm, this is a menu where, uh, for heat inside the beer, because if you don't go away, if you stay inside, uh, is uh, more important to imagine it, everything it could be arrived inside. And this is a place inside. No, it's open, but uh, in this exhibition is closed. And it's very funny because we have two, three beers and uh, nobody know really in what sort of beer I, I live, one? which no. one we mm. can live. And uh, it's like uh, for the, inside we have some system for the, the camera uh, because uh, I like this idea, uh, the, um, the music could be open 24 hours and 24 hours, and uh, everybody could see uh, the, the life inside the beer and uh, the, the life the, the, of the beer in the, in the music. The beer, uh, the beer. The beer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's important. <laughs> This is a, another piece after, uh, his name is Stone. Uh, um, I do this piece because uh, during Giro Vague, uh, I was um, moved by the geological strat in the cliff of the mountain. Uh, and I try to imagine uh, that it was my place in this representation of mineral time. Of course, it was nothing. And I imagine uh, in Palais de Tokyo, uh, I, want, I wanted to experience mineral time. I made a hole uh, resembling to my, to my, uh, comment dire, body. Uh, my body, uh, little uh, augment, uh, comment dire, plus augmenté. Uh. Yeah, uh, bigger than your body. Yeah. But... yeah. And, I, and I stare during seven day, night and day inside the, the stone. Uh, for live uh, the the mineral time is is very st strange experience because uh, it's more it's more quiet inside and um, uh, the the stone like uh, comment dit uh, here uh, here for the architecture because you can you can uh, listen uh, every movement of, uh, of the architecture and the, and the city is very interesting. Mm -hmm. After when I go back, uh, it's, very, it's most difficult for me because uh, when you don't move and it's, uh, sometimes it's a bit, it's very strange travel. Yeah, in this piece, you can't move any part of your body. No, you no, were really small, yeah. in a fixed position. Uh, yeah, exactly. At the, at the beginning, it's, it's um, you think it's not possible to move, but after little by little, you, you can find some little place where you can move. It's like a sort of yoga, stone yoga. Mm -hmm. It's very strange. And after that, uh, uh, always uh, at the Palais de Tokyo, uh, um, I imagined uh, uh, hatching eggs like a, like a hen. Uh, it wasn't very easy to replace to replace the hen uh, with me, but I, I, I managed to do it. And uh, this piece during uh, 21 days, um, I uh, and I stay like in a vivarium 
for uh, realize this experience. Um, is um, uh, is very strange because at the beginning of this of this project, I think it's just a relation with me and Higgs. But uh, after two three days, uh, it's not really that. It's a relation with the uh, with the vi uh, the visitor, the me Higgs and me. And because uh, the visitors stay sometime one hour, two hour, three hours, and stay just for see what it could be happen, and but yeah, happen just uh, uh, is very uh, dire, invisible because it's just uh, uh, the chaleur, uh, humidity and heat and mm. heat. Yeah, it's, it's just that. It's yeah, and uh, at, at the end, uh, this is. Uh, little animal inside mm -hmm. this is after and now this is the life of this uh, animal uh, in the to my parents and this is the end of this piece i present uh, this uh, big hand um in this exhibition now in uh, in marseille for the manifesta um, because um, it's like a uh, scale story. A, a scale mm -hmm. story, yeah. A different scale. A different scale uh, with uh, me, the, uh, the hen, and the and eggs. Um, I continue with the um, Lyon man. Uh, it is a, a story of representation. It was meant to be seen of uh, Orignacian societies. Uh, there are many beautiful representation animal in this uh, society, in this history, but very little human representation. The few that still exist, uh, exist today uh, are half human, half animal. And uh, it's like a story of uh, enchassement. And I do that with the, with the, with the beer. And uh, I continue with, uh, with the, with the Homme Lyon, the Lyon man. Uh, this is the place where I live inside. I realized, in fact, I use uh, the little uh, statuette. Uh, she make uh, the 31 centimeters. And um, I, uh, I reproduce with the three meters. And, um, and I live inside during uh, seven days. Um, the, the, uh, this sculpture is placed in the in the wood near the museum, uh, near the archaeological museum, and near the, the first place where we find uh, um, where we find the the the, 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 rest, the, rest, the, the rest the rest of these societies, and it's very for, for me it's very interesting because uh, uh, the image. Uh, of the population of the society is a constrict a society. Now we have more object for for make some photography image of uh, uh, of every people, and uh, for this society, it just use the animal for imagine the, the society. And uh, I think it's it's uh, for me it's like uh, more important. Um, this is another project I do after. And um, I visiting the center of the um, Bretagne Center, and um, okay. and, I, and I proposing to to make a travel. Uh, this space is uh, uh, is named uh, the the Knight Herons, the man without hair, without without hair, uh, without, and um, his travel. Uh, Step by step, with uh, the armor, uh, uh, with the medieval armor, and it's very strange travel, uh, like uh, armor. armor, like uh, the travel uh, inside the past, inside the future, of armor. and it's for to speak to to the um, what I say uh, to, to to the paysage, to the landscape, because. For me, it's very strange uh, relation with a uh, old landscape and the new landscape in the mix uh, mixing place where we can live, and um, 
and I like this idea to 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 travel like that. And it's very uh, 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 an experience of the story of uh, mythology and like that. Oh, and after the piece, uh, the, uh, the armor finished like that, uh, like a symbiose uh, with that uh, nature and uh, oh, and the armor. Uh, tup, tup, tup. This is a little a brother. Um, this is another project. Uh, I want to, to do this project during a whole long time, but I never arrived to, to realize. I just want to walk on the clue, and uh, it's not really simple to, to realize this project, but I can do. After more, uh, more experience uh, to the Biennale de Lyon, um, the idea is very simple. We make every everybody make this dream to when you take the plane, uh, you see the the surf, uh, surface of the cloud, and you say, "Well, perhaps I could be walk inside. Perhaps I could be sleep." Uh, but uh, it's like a dream. But uh, I'm very interesting to imagine, but uh, what is the system I can use for realize this dream to, to concrete this dream? And, um, and I imagine that as the first time I imagine a project like a uh, helicopter, something very, very mechanical. But uh, after time, uh, little by little, I, I see some people, I speak with and I, and I image a balloon uh, yeah, to, to arrive. Uh, he, he take me and 10 meter uh, uh, low, low uh, uh, to the balloon for uh, testing to, to walk on the cloud. Under the balloon. Under the balloon, yeah. Um, uh, at the beginning, I, I want to realize in, in, in France or in Europe, but it's more complex to have uh, 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 on, the, the right to make, right, to, the do right to, make mm. to do it. And I, we finished to, to realize this project in, in Ga au Gabon, uh, in, a, in a place, a natural place. And it, it's more strong because at the beginning, I think this project, uh, I just want, uh, it's, it's just a film after, and just want to see the cloud, but uh, the, um, the landscape is very strong. And I say, okay, perhaps we can present this place. Uh, I, I could present to you some, uh, perhaps some uh, an extra an extract of this film if i could arrive yeah. this is um, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a big is uh, this film is presenting is a big screen to uh comment dit 18 meters panoramic 18 meters yeah yeah mm. and you can see just a, a little part and if you perhaps you can come in Marseille and mm. uh, to see uh, this, uh, this projection. This is... uh, we can't see it, the video. It's not on. Je pense que vous partagez seulement le PDF. Du coup, on voit quel PDF, on voit pas autre chose. It doesn't work. Okay. It doesn't uh, work, so you have to. We still, we still have the image of the PDF. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. You see now? Yeah. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A bit louder, louder. Oh. Thank you. 
Hop, bêtise. Euh, alors, attends, maintenant. Euh, euh, je suis lost, ils n'attendent pas. I'm going back to the PDF. Yeah. 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 Hop là. Et du coup, euh... ah, comment c'est là Hop, sorry. Tu es les yeah. Yeah. Tac. Yeah. And now it's alors, uh, this, is, uh, this is a presentation in the, in the place of the exhibi exhibition now in, uh, um, in Marseille. Yeah. Um, uh, now, I introduce the uh, uh, next, next project in, in preparation, uh, because I, I like in the idea of the exhibition to, to present uh, a whole project, a new project, and uh, I like to, to use this time of the exhibition uh, for imagine a, a new project and for the the people come and to see the beginning of something. Uh, perhaps it changed, but uh, the project could be changed, but you can see the, the first part of the reflection of these ideas. Now, after I have to leave a in beer, uh, test for realize uh, um, uh, eggs. Um, I I want to make a, a new project with a, an over society. Uh, this society is a, um, mm -hmm. is a, a bee society, and I uh, I pre preparing something for live uh, in a, in a hive. Uh, during, I don't know exactly if I could do uh, for the, the real time for uh, uh, 13 days. Yes. And here you can see some different drawing to present this project. This is a, a brain of the representation of a brain for a human of, 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 of a bee. And here you have the um, the the place where we could do this uh, experience as a, a room uh, um, hive room um, uh, the idea of the people come inside uh, but in the center you have the, um, the the hive and i stare inside the hive with a uh, um 20 20 000 20 000 bees, right, uh, bees. Voilà. Hello. Uh -huh. right. And uh, uh, this is uh, the beginning of this of this project. is um, is a, is in, yeah. It's, a, it's like a. I, I'm interesting to to testing that because uh, uh, it's very strange because in in the every human society you you can use every time the idea of the. Of the hive, like uh, like from the, the best of the construction of the society, and I, I, I like to to transform to return the idea and I say, okay, now uh, if me like a human come to see inside, uh, I come to live with the with the bees. Um, I use this uh, um, uh, uh, certain. 13 days because it is a it's a birth time of a queen bee and I say I'm I'm interesting to not perhaps to the beginning of, uh, a queen but uh, mm. I don't know and uh, and um, I like the SID because in the same time is a matriarchal society and I say what what is my my place inside and uh, what is uh, what the, the system for for live with this society and um, for me is an obligation to uh, to imagine a new symbiose uh, i make some experience now because uh, it's a long program for realize this project and uh, i make some little part where we, i come with the with the have not not too much but uh, 
200 for this moment. And um, it's, a, it's very strange energy to, to make a relation with this, with this animal and society. Yeah. And I think I, I, I do perhaps one year or, uh, or more or less, but I don't know really for this moment for, for release with this project. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is a house where I realized this project uh, uh, is three meters and three meters and three meters. And this is inside the place where I, can, I could live uh, with, the, with the bees. And you can see here. No, it's just present like a, a proposition. Uh, no, no society inside. It's just uh, like a maquette uh, échelle uh, one, échelle one. Scale one. Scale one, yeah. yeah. Mm. This is a, uh, and, and you're working with uh, beekeeping uh, new style, I would say, uh, sweet beekeeping. Mm. I mean, uh, you're working with Olivier Ro yeah. and, and Catherine Plurin, yeah, yeah. who are working on new ways of beekeeping, uh, more adapted to uh, the bees and their way of, uh, of life. I mean, and also around energies, mm. there is... Uh, a, a big story with how the the house is constructed, uh, working on energies, mm, the wood yeah, okay. energies, yeah, etc. Yeah, you can mm. just yeah the system of the energy circulation in this place, and it uh, is very uh, when the people come inside, it is very quiet, it's very strong. You have smell very, very strong. Mm -hmm. the, the, yeah, and another project. As a, as a, a proposition uh, to the Chemin de Compostelle, and I asked to different architects and artists to realize an, um, a little house for uh, the marcher, uh, walk, for the worker in the um, in the Chemin de Compostelle, and I uh, and I proposed. To, is the path of Compostelle for pilgrims. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm. yeah. But it's not only pilgrims. People are working on this. Yeah. Uh, Those words, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, and I decided to, to realize a, a little house in a, in a big stone for, for the people. It's, for, it's not for too much person, it's just for uh, two or four person. And, uh, and uh, I work now to, to realize this, this, uh, this place. And my, my idea is like, and uh, inside is, uh, the idea is uh, outside is like a, is, is a rock, but inside uh, uh, will be uh, entirely covered with a gold um, leaf. And uh, for me, it's very interesting to have different experience of the, of the landscape of the paysage. You are uh, in your uh, landscape and outside landscape. And I imagine that uh, this is the idea of, the, of this stone. Perhaps it's more for this moment we find this, but we, we try to find perhaps a more biggest. And, uh, this kind of dimensions or even bigger? Even this bigger, thing. yeah, 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 for this moment. But we just, uh, just uh, and normally this piece is realized for the, in, in June. So yeah, I finished this project in June. And why do you want to cover it with gold? Is it a material experience or? Pourquoi est-ce que tu veux le couvrir? Oh, yeah, because. D'une expérience matérielle ou est-ce que c'est? Uh, yeah, because uh, it's, um, uh, it's, it's, it's more immaterial uh, experience. And uh, uh, it's very, st uh, for, for make some, sometimes some experience, uh, uh, in the history of the icon, for example, uh, or was you are just uh, the, uh, dit, the portrait, the portrait, no? yeah, the portrait of this person, and you are uh, landscapes just gold, and you can imagine uh, a more extreme thing. And I, I like this idea, you know, it's like a comment dit, un reflector, reflect. Mm. Uh, you know, if you use the, the little light inside. It's like a big light, uh, comment dit un phare, uh, like a... Uh, mm. Big light. 
Yeah, Sorry, it's a big light. It's a big light, it's, uh, right. yeah. yeah. And uh, I like this idea uh, when the people, uh, when the worker go to sleep inside, headlights. Yeah, mm -hmm. is is like a metaphysical space or immaterial space, and he, 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 it's not as concrete as yeah. if it's stone. Yeah, mm. and I like the, this idea of the idea of the of the mineral. You know, you know as you when you are crystal de roche inside the, the stone. I like this idea to 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 do that. But well, and perhaps if you walk in this, uh, you can. And I like this idea uh, is for the different kind of of public, and is like uh, present. For, for the person who walk in this uh, road and you find this place for, for sleep. It's like an experience for me. And this is a hall. It's finished for, now. <laughs> for the presentation. Thank you very much, Abraham. So it's, it's very interesting to discover all your works and to see that you have um, ongoing projects uh, in process, like uh, this work uh, that you are preparing with bees, uh, where you're going to live together with them uh, for uh, 13 days, as far as I understood. And I have uh, and also this, this ongoing project. And I had one question. I mean, um, uh, so the bee project, for example, um, why does it take uh, so long for you to prepare such a project? Uh, do you have a special training to do with uh, uh, with the bees, uh, with scientists, and uh, um, yeah, because I mean, you said it's it's gonna um, be ready in, in a year approximately, or in next summer. And mm -hmm. how do you proceed for the training? Oh, the training is uh, because uh, um, uh, come on, yeah. it's, uh, could I say something? It's, mm. it's a long process. He will work with the medicine because it can be very dangerous, of course. So he, Abraham has to prepare himself to, to have the good attitude or to be uh, quiet enough not to, to create some tension with the bees. Yeah. And so it's, yeah, it's a training for him. Also, you have to clarify maybe the the um, the room, mm. uh, how it will be precisely, yeah. uh, etc. Yeah, in the, um, and the the bee have some uh, uh, representation of human is not the same of exact uh, normally uh, same of, of us. But uh, for an example, when I make some uh, little part of the experience, uh, she is very uh, sensitive. Animal and she, she, uh, she receives yeah. all the energies. Yeah. So Abraham has to go inside their world and and they, uh, yeah, their, their house. So he has to 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 work on his capacity to stay there without any tensions or etc. Yeah, with the but movement. Because, uh, you are training with bees. Um, and with the same bees, you're going to work on this performance because they have to know you already and to get used to you. Or um, and no, I, I, I work with a uh, with different bee and uh, 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 before uh, yeah before the the performance, uh, I work during uh, uh, two weeks to uh, with the with the new bee. Because uh, mm -hmm. with the new bees is um, is preparing, but comment dire c'est c'est les mêmes en fait c'est c'est la même uh, the, famille. For the for the last phases, it will be the same uh, bees as for the performance, and yes, it's the same family because it's in the same place and it's in the same uh, society organization. Okay, and do you have a special uh, is there a special relationship with the queen bee? Mm. Yeah, I don't know for this moment, <laughs> but I construct this uh, this relation little by little, step by step. Yeah, mm. and and with uh, specific beekeepers, I mean, they will help Abraham to go inside the society, mm. and it's a very close relationship with them. I mean, you don't go uh, somewhere and 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 without any relation with the mm. specialist of the bees. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll start with the first uh, question. Uh, Diana Marinku wanted to ask a question. So I pass you on the word. Diana. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Abraham, for the presentation. I had the opportunity to see in Palais de Tokyo a few years ago your stone piece, uh, and I was quite impressed. Uh, and now, after your presentation, I was wondering, uh, one of the purpose of your uh, of your experiments is to connect to a different rhythm, to the rhythm of the mineral life, uh, to a more natural rhythm. And it's also a very strong psychological experience, a very challenging one. So I was wondering, after you finish an experiment like this, how do you feel? Do you feel more connected to the uh, uh, world surrounding you? Do you feel more disconnected after uh, spending so much time in isolation? Because I think it's also an experiment that uh, uh, besides its performative uh, temporal uh, uh, specificity, it also has the purpose to change things on a longer term. So I was wondering how do you, how do you relate afterwards to the whole uh, rhythm of life? Yeah, uh, after the project, you have some little time, very, sometimes it's difficult because uh, we change uh, your, uh, uh, everything about your, your life. Uh, and is a uh, comment on the re rehabilitation time. Uh, readaptation time. Readaptation is, mm. it's more, uh, we, we, we never see this one in the, in the exhibition or the performance of the project, but we have the, the sometime a long time to, to readapt. To readapt. Mm. I can do everything I do uh, normally, but uh, it's like uh, if you uh, at uh, five or 10 centimeter, uh, 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 on the top of, on, on the, top of the of the super uh, the, on the floor on the floor it's more mm. but uh, inside time for me this project for me this project is like a, a laboratory and um, and above the floor sorry uh, above. Yeah, above the floor mm. and it's like a laboratory and uh, uh, is for me is like a place for working for for imagine uh, uh, a new project and uh, and I, I like this idea to to say okay we are just not alone in in the in the earth and you have more uh, uh, dit, um, in, uh, rain, uh, intelligence yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, intelligences or way of ways of living than mm. uh, not only human representation of the world and mm. way of living into the world and uh, and I like to test. I, I'm on the, I'm okay. Some sometimes it's more uh, a little ridicule, mm -hmm. but I I like uh, to to use this uh, this system for 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 do some experience, and I like uh, in the same time uh, when I do this performance in the place um, for many people it is sort of a crazy thing, but at the same time you open a, uh, a place is an open place, um, an open space, and everybody could become, uh, comme ils sont, enfin, les gens peuvent venir dans leur liberté, dans leur liberté de la discussion. Mm. Yeah, and, and Abraham is, is uh, open and aware for discussions uh, with people, because there is something that can seem ridiculous or interrogating, and there is this space for discussion and, and exchanges after with him. Yes, because um, apparently during your performances, I mean, even though when you are enclosed in this stone, in this heavy stone, mm -hmm. there is, I mean, is there still an interaction with uh, the audience or what, I mean, or yeah. can you hear the people? Can you, can you talk to them or, I mean, through the stone, I suppose not, but in other situations, I suppose, yes. Yes, and uh, yeah, you, so, uh, uh, for me, if I, I do some performance in the in the open place or public place, it's normal to the people could be speak with me, uh, and um, but I like two idea of some. Uh, for me, I say yeah, this man he speak to me, okay, but in the same time he speak to the to the beer, 
to the stone to the and and you have like like a membrane something is a uh, is makes a relation mm. uh with uh with you and uh, is um this this space this uh, uh this uh, object uh, stone beer uh, i think uh, um is like a place for the projection for the people for me because he say oh somebody is inside is not possible but in the same time i could be makes this experience by the by the projection and mm. uh, i like this idea of you you can uh, you generate something yeah, you generate yeah. an, an another kind of interaction and also you were saying that when you are you were into the one of the beers and there were three mm. uh sometimes people went to other one and talked to other one it was not the one in which mm -hmm. you were so yeah there is this trouble also people don't know in which one he was you were mm -hmm. didn't know mm. sometimes there is a camera inside the installation yeah. so that people can see you and uh, yeah and, and, and notice that there is someone inside yeah and, uh, and also i wanted to know um how do you train i mean when you are enclosed in a stone for 10 days what do you do do you do meditation uh, yoga what is your kind of training also for the for your health for the, the, the heart everything yeah. has to be yeah when i have time i i do some meditation yoga but sometimes it's more complex because you have different of project and you can walk a walk a walk but uh, normally yeah, i i do that um, um uh, for preparing this pr uh, for an example stone i work with medical uh, uh, team. team because uh, in the same time it's not really simple to arrive to do this, this sort of project in uh, in music because uh, you understand everybody nobody wants to to uh, a die of a, a more uh, a deaf, yeah. a deaf man in the, in in music. Donc, uh, is a is a long walk to preparing this project with the, uh, comment dit, the, the, the staff, the staff yeah. of this music. It's it's like it's, uh, it's very interesting to speak about this project to find the good, uh, the good feelings, uh, the good possibility to to arrive uh, this this project. And uh, for me, I preparing every day when. When I beginning to drawing this project, is for me is like a preparation to to project to project me in uh, in, in in this performance. And uh, it's more, it's, yeah. Okay, and we have one more question from Zorana Djakovic. Yeah. Hello. First of all, thank you for the presentation, and uh, I w I wanted to ask you: Do you archive? Uh, the results uh, of uh, all these uh, performances, projects, works, and results, and your experience, and how do you actually, because it's uh, really, I mean, a huge process through which you are going through. So I was just wondering, do you, do you have some, uh, how do you archive it actually? Thank you. Les performances et à la fois ce que ça a fabriqué, les résultats et pour toi la traverse. Yeah, when I, when I, quand, quand je peux, when I can't do, I, I do, I, I like the idea for an example to the, the book of the catalog or catalog. For me, it's more important, it's like a, a piece in the project. Uh, and uh, I present some, sometimes, uh, more and more, I, I do some drawing or image uh, or little sculpture uh, before and after because it changed my uh, my relation with this project and I, I want to explain everything where where I can go in this place but it's and uh, I like uh, in the same time to come on, uh, conference uh, yeah to, to have talks, talks conferences yeah for me is is a important place in my in my work to the, the conference because it is a place you can speak uh, we can explain something not visible uh, for example in the stone when uh, when we when you transform in a in a uh, mm. uh, rainbow. Uh, rainbow a rainbow it's more complex to present to the people to say yeah i just go inside the stone and 
uh, and I transform me in rainbow. And uh, you say, oh, and uh, it's, it's more important to explain this part of this project. It's not visible, but you can imagine the place where we go. And uh, for me, the, uh, I like the, the project could be have some different representation by book, by uh, conference uh, and drawing, film, everything mm. like that. Yeah. And also with this specific uh, exhibition in the frame of uh, Manifesta, uh, we, Abraham worked on how to represent the, the past performances. And that's why you have this kind of uh, um, uh, tableau à la craie, Adeline, est-ce que tu ah, peux, pardon? Okay. No. I, I can't find the word uh, for that. Uh, shalk. Uh, yeah. Shalk on, yeah, on boards, on school boards. You have this uh, uh, screen on your computer now with the hive uh, drawings. And yeah, Abraham made different uh, kind of these formats to represent how proceeded the, the past performances. So it become also a, a, a piece of art a piece of art the way he documents the the past performance and it's the interest of this specific exhibition because you have the past ones the the current ones and the the future performances uh, we are working on currently mm -hmm. the the hive project mm -hmm. thank you so much uh, abraham uh, Thank you, Lou. Um, so we are um, arriving to the end of the talk, but if there are more questions, you're happy to, to ask. And I just wanted to mention that you will have uh, your exhibition, uh, upcoming exhibition uh, in November at Galerie Semios in Paris. Um, and uh, so do you know already what you're gonna show there in the gallery? Uh, yeah, I present different, uh, I, I present uh, work on the Clude and uh, different uh, say, comment dire, uh, uh, preparation of the, um, of the hive and uh, an other little part of the project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So I hope uh, yeah. the people will be able to come. I mean, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, thank you so much. Did you want to add anything? Uh, Abraham or Lou? Or? Uh, just, just to say that we are working on the production of uh, Hive, the Hive project, and if you want to be updated or whatever, uh, we could send info to you if you want. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, yeah, because that is a project that will be finished in the summertime, yeah, apparently. Yeah, the, You'll yes. be ready to be shown in the summertime. So yeah, so that's <laughs> good luck with that. And uh, yeah, thank you very much uh, to both of you. Thank you to all of you. Um, I just wanted to mention that we would like um, to do a, a meeting with all our curators and a kind of at the very end of our talks. Huh? Uh, so we will propose you uh, different dates, uh, maybe in two weeks. So that would be great that we come back together and we, we can have uh, feedbacks and exchange together on what you've seen, what was interesting for you, what, was, what we could uh, improve. And, uh, and it's important to have these uh, times of uh, discussions uh, outside from the times of talks with uh, artists. Um, so we will meet uh, soon, I mean at uh, 11 we will meet again, so we'll have another talk uh, with artist uh, Sarah Sadik talking with uh, Céline Kopp. So thank you so much to all of you, thank you, bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.